have just packed the car and are literally just waiting for Sage to get home. We drive up to Airlie Beach to go pick up our boat. We just arrived in Airlie Beach after a full 24 hours of driving with a few stops in between and we have a full van packed to the brim with stuff that we're about to bring over to the boat. I think tonight it's too low tide to bring it to Public Wharf. We, we don't know how deep it is there, but we're going to go clean everything up on the boat and get it ready for us and our new home. We are ready to get on board. Um, we're just going over with a few things tonight to turn into a lot of things. This is our tinny. What do you want to name it? Tiara. Tiara. This is our tinny Tiara. This is so exciting. Like the feeling of it going on onto our boat for the first time is like so insane. It's I like, mean, it's pretty liberating, isn't it? Yeah. Like we have full freedom, um, full access to freedom now. It's nice, like last time we came onto this boat, we like weren't sure if we were going to buy it. And now, well, everything is ours. And we bought it for a dollar. <laughs> Take this anywhere you want and have a shower. Isn't that awesome? Leave, you rascal. Can I spray you? Wait a minute, I just got dry. <laughs> ah, I just got dry. I just got dry. <laughs> Excited for the next few days ahead of us, we were feeling very at peace on our new boat, Pearl. We were sailing to Mackay, where our boat was to be pulled out of the water to heal her cancer. AKA rip out her rotten wood. We had three days to spare, so we went off exploring the Whitsunday Islands on what was a rock-ridden boat that we bought for a dollar. After sailing for multiple hours in a wind that was 20 to 25 knots with only our head sail up, we arrived at Hokkaido, which was one of the most beautiful languages we have ever witnessed. Sometimes I wonder, can the world give any more? But the more she gives, the more the world takes. And we are so grateful for what the world has given us. We are thankful for these animals of the world holding us so dear, the wind pushing us along so clear, the sun beating down on our panels for power, and for the earth for providing this space to find. And that is why we want to give back to the Earth. Our new boat Pearl is now going to be used to help protect these vast and wild spaces. By stepping away from what is normal, to do what is right for all beings on Earth.
about two o'clock now. Um, we've had enough. We're going to be able to get to Mackay tomorrow uh, with only 20 nautical miles to go. And we've just found this beautiful little point here. It's called Brampton Island. And we're going to tuck in this point to be protected from the wind overnight. Alright, we're going six and a half knots. Wait, six, seven knots. We're going seven knots right now. We just had a beautiful anchorage at Brampton Island and we're heading to McKay. We've got 15 nautical miles to go and today we're going to be pulling the boat out of the water and ripping the hull and getting stuck into this dirty work. Pretty keen to um, learn a lot. <laughs> yeah, get our hands dirty. Yeah. Stay tuned next week where we pull our beautiful boat out of the water and up on the Mackay Slipway. We turn from sailors into boat builders. It was an epic adventure. One dollar catamaran restoration, here we come.